Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Action Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Action Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement: how to restrict order type based on the BU. The LOV you cannot restrict. As such, there is a no provision out of the box available. So for that, the restriction you can use the order management extensions so i'll show you the demo and then the setups required to be done i'll walk you through so let me try to create an order so i am belonging to this view and now i will try to create an order and while creating the order i will choose the order type so I am first selecting the order type, so-called fusion test order type. And if I try to save the record, it will prompt the error message. Please use correct order type as it belongs to the other view. So you can create the rule. You can restrict so that it won't be selected by the other views. This feature is very important when you have multiple views because within the product itself, Oracle has provisioned the order type lookup, but there is a no provision to restrict the order type based on the views. We have this kind of requirements coming. Now I'll walk you through what is the prerequisite. So first, we have to go to the manage standard lookups and within the standard lookups or the manage order lookups task, you have to search lookup type or RDO order types. Once you search your lookup type, then I have created these two lookup code and the order types. So fuse ORD and the fuse ORD2. So fusion test order type and the fusion order type two. For the demonstration, I have configured for now this order type and I'll show you if you have multiple order types, how you can configure within the extensions. So once I configure it, then next step for you to go to the manage business unit task and within the manage business unit task, you have to search for your views the business unit ID. So how to search? Generally, when you come to the manage business units, you have to click on view and within the view, you have columns. And then within the columns, if you enable this business unit ID, you can get it your business unit ID. For that, there is a query also, which you can utilize. So this is the query where you can just in between, you can provide the your business unit ID. You can get it from the backend all your business unit id so this is the query let me a little bit zoom it so this query you can utilize to get business unit id from the backend also once we have done the order type configuration we have done and taken a note of the business unit id we have to go to the manage order management extensions task and make sure you configure this on the save so while trying to save the record, user will get the error message so that they cannot save the record, they cannot. Now within the extensions, if you want to create, you have to simply click on plus. You have to select create new. If you want, you know, use existing. If you want copy existing, you can do all those functionality. Then the sequence number, you can generally put, you know, 10, 20 or whatever the sequence you want to follow then the active and once the moment you click on OK, it will prompt you the window. Once the moment you click on the name, it will automatically give you the pad where you can, you know, note down your query, note down your quotes and you can validate. And after that, you can save and close and you can activate the rule. So I have since I have already created the restrict order type. So if I open the code, 
you can see that i have added the name you can put whatever the description you want for now i have restricted and created this code for the one bio same way you can create more extensions and let's assume if both bios using the same order type and you have another third bio and that third bio is using different order type then you can also add both the bio logic also so for that what you have to do simply you have to just copy this entire code and once the moment you copy you have to put the pipe so i put that and after that you have to paste your code and then you have to close your bracket so this is how you can enter if you have dual business unit and both using the same order type so you can add your all the order types within this code so to add more order type you can just put the pipe and what you do you just copy this code and then after that you just paste it so that's how you can add more order types you can again do the pipe so it will be you know the a condition and you can add another order type so that's how you can add so for now what i put it the condition if this is the order type right so we have taken this lookup code so you have to make sure that you populate it correct order type code where you want this error message to be prompt this message you can customize based on your business need i have already shown you how you can add you know multiple views also within the same code that way you can do it but you have to make sure that whether both views using the same order type or it's using the different order type so based on you do the configurations so right now i am using the one order type so i remove that code so you can see that the conditions so we are validating the business unit identifier and we are getting the header dot get attribute the business unit identifier and we are also getting the order type code from the header dot get attribute transaction type code then we are validating that this particular business unit id is equal to the business unit identifier and if the order type code is this then only through the new validations exceptions so this is what the message we have written and we have already seen that while saving the record it is prompting the same error you can configure this message as per your business need and as i mentioned so currently i have configured for this rule if i try to use other order type currently i have not configured for this and if i try to save system will not prompt any error so you can see that i try to click on save system is not prompting any error so what i will do i will just take a note of the order type so i have copied so now i am entering another order type so let me copy and i populate it so fuse underscore ord2 and now what i will do i will validate my code and after validation successfully i will save and close the record and after that what i will do i will try to create another order so let me try to create another order and i will show you that after adding the both the order type it is prompting the error for both the order type so this is how you can add multiple order types as well as multiple views now as per your business need you can customize more the extension so let me search so first we have validated earlier the fuse test order type so again we'll validate for this so if i am selecting first one it's prompting the same message if i try to select another order type and if i try to save then it is also prompting so this is how you can enter multiple 
order types within the same view. So this is the single view and you can add, this is how, so you can just put pipe. And then after that, you can add your or conditions. So you can populate and you can also customize this message. So accordingly, it will be prompt. So user will be restricted and they cannot use other order type if it's not belongs to the same view. This is how you can achieve your business requirement. So I will make this little bit zoom. So let me copy it and I'll show you. So let me open. So I'll show you. So this is the code. That's how you have to write. So you have to make sure that this order type code you have populated correctly. And you have also populated your business unit ID correctly while writing the extensions and you can customize, you can achieve your business requirement. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fizz in Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, happy learning.